Well hello and welcome back to Bosch Cats Camping. I hope you had a very happy Christmas and uh, looking forward to a brand new year 2021. In this video we're going to have a look back at 2020. What a year it's been. Who knew 12 months ago what would happen in 2020. I'm going to have a look at a few clips. We're going to look at back at what we did and what we didn't do and a few facts and figures along the way. <laughs> Well, we start off this video with uh, January and the first rally of the year. It was the uh, Suffolk Centre of the Caravan and Motorhome Club rally run by our friends Nick and Carol. And it was held at the Old Mill House in Saxted, which is near Framlingham. And of course, we visited Framlingham Castle. Let's take a look. Well, here we are at the Old Mill House public house in Saxted. And it's about two miles from Framlingham in Suffolk. Well, Framlingham Castle is a beautiful place to visit in Suffolk. Don't, don't drive past it, it's, trust me, it's beautiful. Well, sticking with January 2020, our next visit was Peterborough. Unusual, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. I found some wooden ducks over by the lake. The gulls are having a frenzy over there, I've been fed. Look at this miles of walkways and places for dogs to run.
Well the Ferry Meadows Caravan and Motorhome Club site is lovely any time of year. It's a really large site and a split on two sides of the road, only half of it is open in winter. But it's right next to the Neen Valley um, Country Park which is uh, beautiful as you saw in that clip. Whilst you were watching that I was looking at the spreadsheet down here and one or two facts of figures of um, 2020. In fact we camped for 60 nights, um, believe it or not, with all the cancellations um, that we had to make along the way, we still managed to get 60 nights camping in. And uh, the cost of those camping nights, so the camping costs only, was £1,450. And that averaged out about £24 a night. Uh, we usually go to sites where there's electric hookup and there's also facilities and uh, we normally choose a hard stand although in summer it's nice to be parked on grass and you may well see a few um, examples in a few minutes. Um, the van, van maintenance cost along with the car servicing came to around about £850 for the year and we think that the fuel costs were around about £600. So that's a total camping budget for 2020 of £2,900. And uh, when you think we're out for 60 nights you struggle to get a holiday for 60 nights for that sort of budget. So um, we're really pleased with that. So that brings us into February and we went to Chapel Lane Caravan and Motorhome Club site so that we could visit the Caravan and Motorhome show at the NEC in Birmingham. And uh, we didn't do an awful lot of filming at that show. Uh, we were meeting up with friends and uh, it was a very busy show as I recall so we didn't take an awful lot of footage. Moving on from that, of course, we had our Norway trip and uh, the Norway vlogs can be found in the links below. And our only trip out in March was to Run Cottage, which is a small family run site in Hoseley near Woodbridge in Suffolk. Well, this weekend we're at Run Cottage Touring Park. Let's go and have a look around. And new to the park last year was this nice little reception um, here that's uh, where you can check in on arrival and you go straight into the front field which is this one and we're parked just to the right here on grass pastures this weekend. Ground's pretty firm here, well drained. Uh, we're only about a mile from the sea on the east coast of England in a little village called Hoseley. And I'll put the spelling of that on the screen because it isn't spelt the way you say it. And the toilets and the facility block is just at the entrance of uh, the front field. Um, and to the right there's an information hut. Some nice cabins. Uh, again they're uh, able to rent those and they overlook this pretty little pond well after we got home from Hoseley and uh, run cottage we prepared the motor home and the car for their annual servicing and we went up to Simpsons at Great Yarmouth and uh, for the day and had all the work done returning home on the same day. Within uh, literally a few days of that the country went down into lockdown and uh, we were stuck at home for what seemed like weeks. In fact it was a very long time and we weren't able to move the motor home at all until the, the rules changed and we were able to get out for day trips. We were no, no camping was allowed until July the 4th but we did have a series of day trips and here's one or two clips from the places we visited during June. You can smell the seaweed on the beach here. Pretty much on our own.
Nays car park. It's a rather large car park with the Nays Centre and a little uh, cafe and shop here. Just off on another day trip, aren't we? Yeah, I'm just filling in a questionnaire for our engine our washing machine repair. Oh. I'm saying nice things about him. Oh, well, I'm plugged. Oh, it's a bit late. In 400 feet, turn left. We are at a little town called Orford, which is just um, through Woodbridge on the east coast of England. Well, I'm on the Suffolk coastal path here and uh, just to get our bearings behind me here is Orford and in front of me and to my left now is the Postcats and uh, Thorpe Ness in the distance that way and if we were to go further up on the north the north uh, of the east coast here we would be in uh, Southwold and Dunwich and, uh, and continues right up to Lowestoft. So we're going to walk uh, walk along the, the uh, beach here. We're just going to have a look at the sculpture. So this is the scallop, which has been designed by a local artist, Maggie Hambling, in memory of Benjamin Britten, who was a famous composer that actually lived in Alpra. Uh, it's very large. So. And uh, he used to come for walks on the beach, didn't he? Yeah. So, uh, I don't blame him. This is to remember him by. Let's have a look. Bye. <laughs> Just walked along to uh, Thorpe Ness, which is uh, about three miles from where we parked. Uh, it's very warm, but uh, glad to see that there's, uh, the cafes are doing takeouts, so you can get an ice cream or a sandwich and take it out. And uh, we're in the little village here, um, where it's a little bit bustle and bustle, really. Quite nice, not too crowded. But uh, we're going to go and have a look over by the lake and see some swans.
Well, it was the height of summer and those day trips were very memorable. There are a lot more clips I could have chosen from. Again, I'll put the links to those vlogs in the description below. So then July the 4th came along and the uh, sites, campsites were open again in England. So we took advantage and the first weekend available to us, we went to Kessingland to a little site called Jadeen. Well, we've made it to Jadeen caravan site, which is um, rather nice. It's immaculate, in fact, it really is. Um, there's just 12 pictures here. It's an adult only site, and it's just off the A12 um, at uh, Geislam, which is near Pakefield, Lowestoft. And uh, when we arrived a little while ago, um, there was a few spaces, and the site is now full. So. Uh, very popular indeed and like I say it is immaculate let's have a little look around and uh, I'll show you what's here Well, through the summer we had a, a whole bunch of uh, campsites that were booked. Uh, many of them uh, very happy to uh, either postpone or refund. Um, and uh, I have to say most of them we, we've rescheduled for 2021. Um, all of the campsites uh, during the summer that we contacted were very helpful and uh, no point did we feel um, that they were uh, withholding our money or being awkward or difficult about rebooking. Um, they, all of the campsites without exception were very helpful. So some of those that um, we had to cancel then, I've just looked at a, quite a long list, um, we had to uh, cancel um, a concert actually that we were going to with Paul Carrick. Um, we cancelled that. Then there was Mill Hill Farm at Darsham, which we've rescheduled for next Easter. That was going to be our Easter trip this year. Um, the uh, National Motorhome Show at uh, Peterborough, we uh, cancelled that. That was not on uh, in the end. Um, we had a holiday at uh, Kessingland at uh, White House. Uh, Kesingland that was uh, cancelled. We were planning to do a bit of off-grid in Derbyshire with some friends again cancelled uh, all in uh, May uh, as well as Tewkesbury um, at the Abbey there we uh, were going to meet up with some more uh, YouTubers um, that was put on hold and we're hoping to do that in May 2021. We'd also got a booking at Wheat Hill Touring Park near Ludlow um, that's paid for but um, a rescheduled again for late May 2021 and Warwick Racecourse we also cancelled a weekend there. Um, Herman Fest with uh, Herman Hits the Road that had to be put on hold this year uh, that would have been in the New Forest and uh, we had a get together with some friends at Rainbow Nursery in Essex near Clacton-on-Sea 
again uh, that one was cancelled um, and that brought us to, to the uh, JD site which you've just seen um, and beyond that we were keen to get back out again because we've been in lockdown for all of that time and uh, we put together a, a, a trip for about a week I think it was or 10 days uh, Fields End Water, New Lodge Farm and Stackyard Nursery now these three sites were back to back and uh, uh, we covered Cambridgeshire, Northamptonshire and then back into Suffolk. Here's a few clips of the highlights of that trip. Well, we've made it to New Lodge Farm in Bulwick in Northamptonshire and uh, we were looking forward to coming here. We'd uh, spoken with uh, Keith and Michelle from Carefree Caravan and we'd seen their vlog and my goodness, what a lovely site it is. We're going to show you around and uh, start off with a lovely farm shop and I've just been in there and done some shopping. Come over to the cafe. So, what you got then, Sue? Lemon drizzle cake, new calf tea. Excellent. Uh, I've got some goodies to take nice. back to the van there for later. And I got myself an Americano and a homemade sausage roll with ketchup today. Up. What was that? <laughs> it's heated up. Yeah, it's heated up, yeah. Well hello and welcome back to the channel to Posh Cats Camping. I'm Trevor and this week we're on a uh, CL, a Caravan Club, or Caravan and Motorhome Club CL and it, that we've actually booked all five pitches because we've got four friends. Yes I know it sounds strange I've got four friends but they've all turned up. <laughs> so let me show you who's here. We're at the Stackyard Nursery in Mendelsham, which is in mid Suffolk, so we're nowhere near the coast this time, but we are only about 20 25 miles from home, um, which 
is on our way back from the end of our tour. As you've probably seen in uh, our previous vlogs, we've been to uh, Cambridgeshire and Northamptonshire in the last 10 days. So uh, let's show you who's here. Let's walk down the field. And you can see all five pitches. Now in the blue corner, <laughs> waving from a distance, is our friend the Chit Chat. Hey? Motor Home Chit Chat, Vicky and Aaron. And then just along in the second pitch there, Bobby, the hobby, with Nick and Carol. Then we've got ourselves with Bertie, the badger. Myself, Trev and Sue, the posh cats. And then on the next, next pitch along, we've got Sheila and Joe and Donny, the Devon, the auto sleeper, motor home. And then Colin and Phyllis at the end with their brand new motorhome. Uh, I think that's their first time out this weekend. A little Eldis, a Cordo, and they're over in their little pop-up. As you might have noticed that we've all got the same little pop-up. Right. Well, the boys have got the old barbecues out. Let's see who we've got tonight. Yeah, yeah that'll be all right. On barbecue number one, we have young Joe. What are you cooking up then, Joe? Bear ribs and chicken thighs. Bear ribs and chicken legs. Oh, okay. What I'm cooking? What you're cooking, is it? Okay, I'll come over at barbecue number two. Young Nick. Hello. What are you cooking up there, then, Nick? A little bit of pork and garlic on the go at the moment. Oh, marvellous. Okay. Um, I tell you what we ain't got. Barbecue number three. Hello, hello, hello. Mr. Chit Chat. What you got on there? We're getting a bit of Chinese chicken thighs on the go. Oh my word. To start with. Yeah. We've got some maple bacon slices. Yeah. And some sausages. All right. And a couple of burgers as well. Wonderful. And we've got some more peppers and onions yeah. to go on as well. And, and, and the three wise monkeys. Yeah. <laughs> and barbecue number four is mine. But I've gone on strike. <laughs> The chef's gone on straight. <laughs> <laughs> We're all socially distanced round the campfire. <laughs> what else? Is there anything else like chicken more I can put on? I've got loads of space. Well, that was a lovely weekend with the gang at Mendlesham in Suffolk. Um, there was a well, an enormous barbecue. We could, couldn't possibly have eaten all that. And uh, there was one or two beers consumed that weekend as well. Uh, great to let a hair down. Well, some of us have got some left. The next trip that we did was a, a last minute trip. We uh, spotted an opportunity in our calendar to go to Dorset to a site called the Back of Beyond and uh, that was another beautiful find. Uh, really enjoyed the Back of Beyond in Dorset and uh, again here's another little clip. So we made it to the Back of Beyond and it's a tranquil group site and uh, very tranquil indeed. It's very quiet, you almost hear a pin drop, just a few cars moving about here and there on the site and uh, people chatting away and birdsong and uh, over behind me here is reception and uh, we've arrived there and uh, we were taken to our site and uh, well the weather broke it started to rain for a while but the sun now is coming out and we're back to summer we never if ever camp in August the peak season but here we're paying 33 pounds a night and we have all the facilities we need I've just come through the gate into this field and there's um, like a playing area and a picnic area there's a pitch and putt and uh, then there's 18 acres of woodland which uh, is a wonderful dog walking area you can let the dogs off it's all safe 
There's a little stream along one side and lots of open and wooded areas to walk in. So uh, that's where we've been bringing the dog. It's uh, just so pretty and really quiet. You know. Up the other end of the site here there's uh, glamping and there's some um, off-grid camping uh, on grass pitches and uh, it's very much ad hoc. Uh, there are marked pitches but of course it's more like being in the woodland and uh, it's a dog free zone as well so there's no dogs allowed in this part of the uh, campsite but uh, we're just approaching now the main toilet block and I'll show you what's available down here Well, those of you that watched our channel for a while may have picked up on the fact that um, I retired from my job in September 2019 and was looking forward to doing more traveling with the motorhome. 
Well, that didn't quite happen as planned. So uh, we have had quite a good year, as you've seen. And uh, Sue also became quite poorly in March, having contracted COVID-19 and uh, had some complications along the way. And we didn't know what long COVID was at the time, but has recently recovered from that and is doing quite nicely now and has returned to do one or two shifts at the hospital uh, on the agency. Well, the next trip in 2020 was the one that we look forward to probably the most. It was a 22 night trip and uh, we headed west, started off on Burnham-on-Sea and headed down the north Devon and North Cornwall coast and then crossed to the south coast and came back uh, along the south coast back along Cor into Cornwall and uh, into Devon and uh, then home. 22 nights, that's three weeks. We hadn't had a three week trip for some time and uh, fantastic trip, beautiful weather and the coastline down there is just amazing. big beach here and uh, we can see across the water is Wales coast um, which we're going to be going to in October um, but here we are the end of August on a beautiful sunny day walking along the north coast or the west coast of Somerset and uh, look, look what's parked on the beach Fantastic. Miles of sand and some motorhomes and cars parked on the beach. We just wondered how we're going to get across this little uh, stream here. Sue's gone investigating this time. She's gone ahead with one dog. Oh, Sue's got Crocs on, you're bound to get wet with Crocs. Your turn, Joe. <laughs> what are you going to do? You want to let him come through? Wait a minute, let me get it through and knock it. Nope. Come on Joe, what you what angle are you gonna take then? This way, let him go, Joe. Let him go. Don't let his lead go in that mud. Oh no. Come on, Harley. Come on. Come on, Harley. Harley, come on, Joe. Come on, Joe. Come on, Joe. <laughs> oh my goodness me. <laughs> Easy. Well, we got through that little chicane. <laughs> And uh, 
we're now walking down the hill and we can see the sea. So we know we're getting close to Wollacombe Sea, but this has turned out quite an interesting hike. Uh, we, we just made a note that we've only, probably only got about four hours of natural daylight left today. And uh, we're not even halfway there yet. <laughs> we've got another one, have we? Yeah. I've enjoyed it. We've had some laughs, haven't we? Do you think we'll find a beach? Yes, we're down going there. to. About another two miles? We can see it down there. <laughs> Let's keep going. I don't know. It might be. Look at the view. Beautiful views up here. Yeah, this is North Devon. Proper North Devon, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. And there's the sea, just at the end of this path. <laughs> I'm sure it's another mile or more away. <laughs> there's nothing quite like a coastal path, and there's nothing quite like a North Devon coastal path. It is quite a cloudy, windy day today, but uh, we don't regret a moment of it. It's just it's stunning up here. Uh, let me show you from this point what I can see. So what do you think of that then? <laughs> um, I, I don't say the normal word. Is it lovely? Spectacular. Views. It is. I think you're close on it. We've got to find the Mort Point. Okay. It's a little bit we're not blowy. Far from it. But uh, we're, hoping to see some sea. we're loving the white water down here, aren't we, Sue? Let's have a look at this. Fabulous. The sky's clearing out now. And. Uh, we can see for miles. We're looking across several bays in front of us here now and behind. Um, and in one of these valleys is Boss Castle. campsite behind us and we're at St Agnes Beacon. Let's have a look around. 
came up in the dark last night. <laughs> That's a bit spooky. <laughs> we won't do that again. No. Very spooky. That's the quickest I've ever gone downhill, I tell you. In the dark. <laughs> We've got a fantastic view already. Look at this, Sue. Yeah, lovely. And it's beautiful. This is what you come on holiday for, really, isn't it? I'll show you. What a way to spend a Sunday afternoon. Look at that. Lovely. Plenty of people out on boats and yachts. And over the, over there is Falmouth. There's a lot of houses here, look. There's a lighthouse way in the distance over there. Uh, probably can't pick that up with the camera, but we can pick these up. Look at these. Now, what I want to know is, why has this one not got a bung in the end of it? Do I need to walk around the back? <laughs> oh, that is amazing. Now, the castle's up here on the hill, look. It's fabulous having such a beautiful day. I mean, we're so lucky with the weather this week. We've had a few cloudy bits, but uh, dry as a bone. No rain. Uh, We're just walking down to St Moore's now. And uh, down these little... Seagull? Yeah, on top of the flagpole there. Uh, you take the low road or the high road. <laughs> dogs are banned. Uh, no dogs down on the beach. Well, we've left them at home in the van. Beautiful thatch cottage just down here. Now, can you imagine owning a property like this? And a view like that. Ice cream time. What you got there? Cherry and custard and a waffle. Oh, that sounds Instead nice. Of a traditional got corner. the uh, dairy free option. <laughs> the um, orange calippo. Well, it would quench me thirst, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. This is lovely. Okay. Yum, 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 yum. We've walked quite a long way along this railway line and seen several trains and we're still carrying on a little further. It's quite pretty down here with all these red cliffs and uh, the sound of the sea. Oh, very warm. Going to drop at the end of the uh, here. We've got the water.
So there were a couple more cancelled trips. Our trip to Wales unfortunately had to be cancelled because Wales went down in, into lockdown um, <clears throat> which meant that we couldn't travel across the border from England into Wales. So we uh, had a, a weekend or a long weekend in uh, Grafham Water uh, which was very pleasant. I'll bring you a clip of that in a moment. But another cancellation of course was our long trip to Scotland. We were heading off to Scotland uh, throughout November and we'd got a long trip planned to the Isle of Skye and up to Inverness and uh, beyond. It was all weather permitting uh, because we didn't at that time uh, know what the weather would be like. But um, with the motorhome of course you can be flexible and you can change your route or you can uh, tweak it as you go along depending on whether the storm's coming through. Let's have a quick look at our trip to uh, Grafham Water and then I'll come back to you and uh, let you know where we are and bring you right up to date. And we're pitched here over on pitch number 42 and 43. And as you can see, we're right near the water and uh, the waste emptying point. There's a chemical waste point here as well, which is really handy. Uh, but it's quite a, cool, it's quite a small site, um, as you can see the road goes around this way and also at the end here you have the option to go left, there's more pitches around there as well. Here we are on our pitch and uh, lots of lovely trees around on this site, uh, so it's very quiet. There's a lake here with a bridge over which um, you can drive over. Incidentally, where I'm walking now is normally uh, grass pitches and they are available in the summer. Um, we're in mid-October now so they're not using these pitches but when we came before we uh, were pitched up over here. Um, and I'll show you a photograph if I can find it of us pitched here at uh, Grafham Water with our caravan and our little uh, Land Rover Freelander I think we had at the time. Let's see if I can find that. So in late October we had a, a lovely little short break at Baldock, um, a place called Ashridge Farm, Caravan and Motorhome Club site near Ashwell. Lovely little village and uh, a really nice little break um, right before England went back down into, into lockdown. So uh, we lost a whole of November again and um, no camping was allowed during that period. I just came in as the, uh, there was a big black cloud came over. So we had some coffee and uh, a bite to eat and it's now blue sky. So we're going to go for a little walk around the site here and then uh, carry on down to the village. I can hear bagpipes. Can you hear them? I can hear bagpipes. Yeah. Mm. See if we can find them. I bet we don't. Not in Scotland yet. <laughs> Not in Scotland, no. Some more nice grass pitches down here, Sue. So. Yeah. On the end here. Yeah, there is a nice feel about it. It's very quiet because we're towards the end of October now, isn't it? And uh, I like that, though. yeah. Ah, oh, that's where the stepping stones are. I thought there might be some. We've had a lot of rain, so interesting to see what the streams are, are like and what the spring is like.
So he's found some stepping stones, I think. Let's go and have a look. So he's going to go across. Okay, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. How are you? Please with yourself now, in you? <laughs> dog. <laughs> I didn't attempt the step and stones. I'm too clumsy. Well, we have one final trip to show you for 2020, and that was the one at the beginning of December, when uh, we visited Sandringham Caravan and Motorhome Club site, and also the old brick kilns uh, near Fakenham in Norfolk. And I'm not going to show you a clip from uh, the old brick kilns because that video is out next. So uh, you should be able to see that in the next few days. Well, we've arrived at Sandringham and we're in the queue. There's two twin axle caravans in front of us. And um, you probably saw on the dash cam that the weather's taken a little bit of a turn for the worse. And uh, it's a bit snowy. Nah. Well, we're British. Like a winter wonderland. Yeah, it's pretty that's in the right. trees. That's all we got about five miles away, weren't it? Yeah, that's five, ten miles. Quite, the, the conditions weren't quite so good to drive, and it's all slushy underneath. Yeah, the roads have been a bit slushy in the last sort of five miles, but we could see that the gentle rain was turning to snow, and we're just waiting to get checked in. We're back in the van now. The barrier has been lifted for us. We've paid. Um, they only allow one in the office at a time, in the reception at a time. And uh, you settle up and then you can jump back in your van and drive around the site and pick your own pitch. Great thing about the Caravan and Motorhome Club is that they don't allocate a pitch to you. You can choose your own. Now you can see that the uh, snow is making it a little difficult for us to see exactly where the pitches are but we look for a, a white stick in the ground with a number on it um, showing that we have a standard pitch with electric hookup um, you see uh, quite a few caravans and motorhomes scattered about the site here uh, we're just approaching a uh, toilet block on the right there uh, we'll do a, uh, a site walk around a little later so uh, you see some trees and uh, so the whole site is surrounded by trees on the Sandring Estate here and the uh, trees on the park as well, on the caravan site as well. It was very quiet down this end so um, we quite like the look of it although <laughs> the snow seemed to have piled up fairly down here. Uh, there was a good inch on the grass I would imagine. So we just hesitated a couple of times to see which one we'd like to go on. I've just driven round the site and chosen our pitch. Let's get out in the snow. So we've got to detach the car now then. Oh, and we're going to go on this pitch here. Um, oh, it's very pretty, isn't it? Mm, very nice. <laughs> All right, let's get stuck in. Well, all that remains for me to say to you now is I wish you a very happy new year and we'll see you in 2021. Bye bye now.